The freight world is full of abbreviations, acronyms, and initialisms. To save you some searching, we've decoded 15 key shortened logistics terms. Let's start with the freight modes, OTR or over the road. That means any transportation that uses highways, byways, streets, boulevards, drives, you name it, if it's paved, they use it. Included in OTR is FTL or full truckload. That's any shipment that requires the full 53 foot trailer on a truck. For those that don't require though, the full trailer, there is LTL or less than truckload. Those are shipments that are more than parcel size, but less than FTL. IMDL, that stands for intermodal. That's a freight mode that combines road for short haul and rail for the long haul with the items being shipped within a shipping container. To book an intermodal load, you need an IMC or intermodal marketing company. An IMC purchases road and rail transportation services using equipment from many different sources, and they offer value added services on top of that as well. A lot of IMCs are also known as LSPs. A logistics service provider is a company that a business tasks with managing some or all of warehousing, distribution, freight transportation, and related operations. LSP is also generally used interchangeably with another term, that's 3PL. A third-party logistics provider offers a variety of outsourced logistics and supply chain services, not to be confused with 4PLs. A fourth-party logistics company offers those same services, but usually in a packaged form, not a la carte as a 3PL would. And who hires one of these outsourced providers or the carrier themselves? Well, that's a BCO or beneficial cargo owner. That's the company that owns the product or good being shipped, also known as the shipper. No matter the freight mode, there is a document that you will almost undoubtedly encounter along your freight journey. And that is the BOL, Bill of Lading, a shipping form that serves as both a receipt for products and a contract with a carrier to move them. Getting back to intermodal, there are two main methods by which freight moves. COFC or container on flat car, is when a container is transferred from a chassis onto a flat rail car for the length of its journey. In fact, it also allows for double stacking. Sometimes though, TOFC or trailer on flat car is the method of choice. This refers to a semi-tractor trailer being loaded directly onto a rail car, wheels and all, or a shipping container that is still with its chassis, again, with the wheels placed onto that rail car. It's also known sometimes as piggyback. Whether you're shipping LTL, FTL, intermodal, or something else, if your shipment requires temperature control, it's likely gonna travel in a reefer or refrigerated unit. As far as cargo types go, there's of course general cargo and hazmat cargo. Hazmat refers to hazardous materials, which involves materials or substances or a combination of those, which could be hazardous to human health or the environment if improperly packaged, stored, transported, etc. And we'll go back to intermodal for our final term for this video. Repo or repositioning refers to a shipment created by a railroad or ocean carrier to move an empty container from one location to a location where it's more needed or better utilized. Shippers can get in on this action by working with these carriers and potentially save money by filling the containers as they go back in that repositioning mode. For freight solutions related to these and other terms here at Intech Freight and Logistics, we can help. Just give us a call at 317-208-5565 or visit our website, www.intechfreight-logistics.com and click that request a quote button to learn more. Thanks very much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up below, drop a comment in the comments section and subscribe to this channel to get future videos first. Thanks again for watching.